It might be summertime here in New England, I think. Yeah, I think it's summertime, but we're making a hot chocolate cocktail. This episode is brought to you by GarnishBar.com. Create, find, and share your most delicious cocktail recipes. Create your recipes on GarnishBar.com and send us the link. We'll prioritize those above all others until August 31st, 2012. Check out our behind-the-scenes video at GarnishBar.com slash CMC. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today, we're going to create the fancy orange chocolate. This recipe was submitted by Austin. Now, if you've watched the beginning, we have a sponsor, GarnishBar.com, and... For our sponsorship, anybody who submits their recipes on GarnishBar.com and then sends me the link will have priority on our recipe queue. And Austin did just that because I posted on Facebook.com slash Cocktail TV earlier this week. And those in the know have already started posting recipes. That's why we're doing hot chocolate in the summertime. Uh, this recipe is about 12 ounces of hot chocolate. I'm going to just guesstimate what I want. So what's wrong with you, Austin? Austin probably lives in like Argentina or like Australia or someplace where it's like places Opposite I haven't been. Of us. Yeah, I don't know, Tropic of not Capricorn because I think that's around here. I don't really. I try to pretend You're to know. You're showing your genius. Yeah, my genius is showing. So, 12 ounces of hot chocolate. We're probably going to do like six. One ounce of vodka, two ounces of Cointreau, orange liqueur. Use your favorite orange liqueur. I'm going to use Cointreau this time. Use my Luxardo triple sec a couple times, so I'm gonna move to this. One ounce of vodka, we've got exclusive vodka here. I was just, I was digging through all my crap and I found my hula skirt thing. So, we are using exclusive for vodka for this. You can use whatever your favorite vodka is. Two tablespoons of whipped cream. Not really gonna measure that out, I guess. I'll put enough a dollop on here just so it looks good. I'm gonna get a crack in the seam here. And if you have chocolate shavings, throw some of those on top. You're good to go. This recipe is pretty easy, as most hot drinks are. It's going to be hot chocolate. Then we're going to add in our other ingredients. We're going to need three ounces. But you know what? I'm going to reverse this order, um, Austin, only because it's easier for me to measure this way. If I put the hot chocolate in first, I won't know how much. I can't visualize the three ounces. So Why I'll don't do... you pour with the top on, though? The hot chocolate, not the vodka. Oh. <laughs> like, uh, if I do that, I, I can't see anything. Um, oh, I might be able to do that. I was using it more. It's probably a bit easier to pour. It might be. It should be. That's why I have it here to make up those important decisions. Hmm. Kind of a neat top, but I thought it might have one of those restraining devices. <clears throat> probably not a restraining. De There's two ounces of Quattro in here. That's a lot. Hmm. Now I'm second guessing if I should have used less. Probably. You're not gonna get much hot chocolate in there. Oh, that's that's why we that's why we do crazy stuff on the show. Look at that pour. Lick it. I didn't really do that. Yeah you did. I, I did touch it, I didn't lick all the way up. That's just gross. So let's get that orange liqueur in here. I'm gonna say that was probably maybe Six ounces of hot chocolate. Uh, that wait, noise means. I, don't know. I no. don't know about that. You know what? I'm good with it. I say less hot chocolate, more alcohol. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, I was made a good. mess. I, I made a mess. Um, this is the smarter way of doing it. Oh, it's not smart at all. There we go. Um. Anyway. Just ruined your palette. I ruined my palette with awesomeness of whipped cream. Oh, I forgot I got two, I got new shirts I could have worn. Mm. Ellie sent me some couple new shirts. Yeah, they're sitting on my counter. Uh, it's because I was supposed to remember to bring them up. Look at that, it's got a nice foamy head with the, with the whipped cream running down the edges right there. And of course, you probably want to use something that's not going to burn you because this is hot hot chocolate. Really? You don't say. Oh, just smelling it. Nice orange, like a creamsicle. Forgot it's hot chocolate. Can't sip it as easy. Well, you could definitely tell that 
we were all liberal on the the use of the alcohol in this one. The vodka does it is it's a hot drink, so you're gonna get that that alcohol burn just because it's I don't care how much you put you always can get that like that that spiked flavor of a hot drink however there's some great orange flavor coming out of here orange peels all for days from the nose all the way through the drink you just get like chocolate and orange and then uh, a little bit of that vodka play and this one I probably could have won a little light on the vodka Maybe even light on the orange, but this orange is right up in your grill. Definitely a neat play. I think the this could be accented better had you used like a, a little orange on the edge or something. Because you don't get a feeling that there's any orange in here. But I think if you garnish it with an orange, your expectations would be set in such a way that you get that nice warm chocolate and orange. And it really played well together. Really just as a presentation expectation piece. It's a good hot drink. I probably won't drink it very much for this time of the year. Maybe after a thunderstorm and it gets really cold, but it's even then. I'll probably go with a little more cocktail-y summerness action. So there you go. Question of the day. Do you drink hot, hot cocktails or hot drinks in the summertime? All year long. Or, yeah, like a full-time thing. You're like, I don't care. For me. Hot coffee. I still will have that in the you know summertime. If sometimes. it's really hot, I'll do iced coffee. Yeah, I, I'll switch it up. But you can also try this with you know some cold chocolate and maybe get that same appeal, but a little hidden alcohol going on there. I don't know. Uh, also, don't forget to check out garnishbar.com. Submit your recipes there. He has a little place to go where you can you know say submit recipes and put them all in. Also, if you go to gar and this was in the beginning garnishbar.com/cmc, you can watch a video behind the scenes of me explaining some stuff about why recipe sites are kind of important, a little behind the scenes action. I know people like those. And I'll do a little tutorial and enter the common man margarita through the Garnish Bar web interface so that you guys can use that as a stepping stone to be able to submit your own recipes and your own spirits. If you wanted to use explicitly, exclusively, exclusive vodka in a recipe, you can add that exclusive vodka into their database and then reuse it in your drink, add it to your bar, socialize, review some of our cocktails that are out there. There's a place to review. You can even log in with your Facebook account. So there you go. That's garnishbar.com. Check them out. <sighs> I think I need a cold one. Everydaydrinkers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink.